Meet Sarah. She's a hardworking accountant who spends most of her day working on spreadsheets and analyzing numbers. One day, Sarah received an email that looked like it was from her bank, asking her to confirm her account details. Sarah clicked on the link in the email and entered her login credentials on the website that looked like her bank's website. But that email was not from her bank. It was a phishing email designed to steal her personal information. Sarah's account was compromised, and she had to spend a lot of time and money to recover from the incident. Phishing emails are the main source of phishing attacks. Email phishing attacks are attacks in which phishing emails are disguised as legitimate emails to steal personal information or trick the victim into clicking on some malicious web link and asking for login information or account details and, in some cases, installing malware onto the victim's machine. What is a phishing email? Let's find out. Phishing is a technique in which an attacker sends an email, text message, or malicious web URL claiming to be coming from a legitimate source, but it is not. Email phishing is a social engineering attack that misuses the kindness principle in human behavior. People are fundamentally nice and willing to help. In today's digital age, cybercriminals shamelessly take advantage of our kindness and trick us into sharing our sensitive information. But how do they do it? One common technique is to create urgency in their emails. Attackers know that when under pressure, victims will make quick decisions and may not think clearly. Another technique is to manipulate our needs and desires. Need and greed make people vulnerable and attackers make all attempts to steal our account information, login credentials, and credit card numbers by offering too good to be true offers and deals to exploit our needs and greed. Attackers may also misrepresent themselves as trusted sources, such as banks or social media platforms, to trick us into giving away our personal information. In general, Phishing attacks are divided into two categories, deceptive emails and malware-based emails. Deceptive phishing emails. This technique uses social engineering and is less technical but uses the psychology of human behavior. In this category, attackers pretend to be someone they're not and try to fake themselves as legit entities like HR persons, banking personnel, or system admin. In this type of attack, the intention is to ask the victim to do something on behalf of the attacker. Malware-based emails In this attack, the attacker sends out a phishing email containing malware attachments like Microsoft Office documents and embedded macros that either steal the credentials or attack the email client itself. A classic example of this attack is the I Love You Worm created in 2000. When the user opens the attached file, it runs a script that infects the system and then the target's email account to send copies of itself to all the contacts in the address list. Email-based phishing attacks can be further organized into different classes, like Spear phishing, whaling, and vishing. Spear phishing is a more individualized and much more targeted approach. In spear phishing, attackers send emails targeted at an organization's specific employee or employees to steal sensitive data such as financial information, pricing, marketing strategy, and trade secrets. Whaling targets wealthy individuals. A whaling attack is a phishing attack that targets high-profile executives like CEOs, CFO, politicians, and celebrities with the most privileged access to confidential data. And finally, Dishing is using voicemail to trick the user and steal private information. Email phishing attacks happen in three major steps. The victim or end user receives a very convincing email from some attacker or malicious actor. The end user or the victim's influence to take the proposed or suggested action in the email. Once the victim acts or clicks on the link, it goes to a bogus website that collects sensitive information or ends up installing malware on the victim's machine. Some features of phishing emails are Urgent message Asking for personal information Lottery prizes, gifts or anything too good to be true Unexpected email messages or delivery notices Suspicious attachments So, how can you protect yourself from these scams? By being vigilant and following some simple rules End user education and awareness Use two-factor authentication when possible. Hover over links to check the URL before clicking on them. Check the sender's email address to make sure it is legitimate. And finally, 
don't click, don't reply, and don't open attachments. By following these tips, you can protect yourself from falling victim to phishing scams. Remember, it doesn't matter how many firewalls, multi-factor authentication, or security mechanisms an organization has. If the person behind the keyboard falls for a fish. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for future videos and updates.